Good morning, and welcome to the 2020 National Day of Prayer. I am Pastor Brian with the Pentecostals of Troy, and it's my honor to open this virtual prayer session. I will be followed by Pastor Andy from Troy United Methodist Church, who will offer remarks in the National Prayer. Pastor Kevin from St. Jerome Catholic Church will offer remarks and the benediction. Clergy, churches, civic organizations, as well as businesses, had planned to resume a prayer breakfast for all three communities in the Triad School District. However, COVID-19 has postponed those plans. We will reschedule the prayer breakfast when feasible, and Troy United Methodist Church has graciously agreed to be the host, as was originally planned for today. Mayor Alan Adamite from the city of Troy launched the prayer breakfast several years ago. And with his blessing, a group of interested parties began planning last fall for the resumption of this wonderful event. We pay honor to Mayor Adamite, as well as Gene Myers, for their effort in past years. We also thank them for the input and guidance they afforded our planning committee for the 2020 event. I would like to thank the planning committee for their effort that went into this event. It has been a pleasure working with them, and I look forward to the prayer breakfast later this year. The theme for this year's National Day of Prayer comes from Habakkuk 2.14, which declares we should pray for God's glory across the earth. The theme in scripture resonates in our hearts today as the world is locked into a battle with the coronavirus. The prophet of old instructs us to pray for the earth to be filled with the glory of God. At this time, I'm going to pray an opening prayer to begin our national day of prayer. Pray with me. Dear Heavenly Father, we humbly come before your presence with gratitude, thanksgiving, as well as supplication, not for the United States of America alone, but for the world which you created. We are grateful today for your mercy, grace, and long-suffering that has been granted to mankind. What a wonderful feeling today to know that your mercy endures forever. We are thankful for the manifold blessings that you bestowed upon us this day. Truly, we are a blessed people because of your rich love for your creation. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. We recently celebrated the great sacrifice of Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world, to redeem humanity from sin and grant us a relationship with our Creator. We are thankful for this opportunity. Humanity around the world has been adversely affected by the coronavirus. We pray for those on the front line of the battle against this deadly virus, those in the medical field. Protect them. Keep them in the hollow of your hand. As they compassionately care for those afflicted, let them be surrounded by your glory. We pray for the families of the thousands of victims of this virus as they walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Let your rod and staff comfort them. Comfort them as they mourn. We pray for the leaders at every level of government and health care to have the wisdom and knowledge to respond accurately and correctly during COVID-19. Give them the wisdom that comes from above to navigate this difficult time in our history. We humbly ask that a solution be found to combat the coronavirus and that lives will be spared as a result of the resolution. The scripture declared that you order the steps of the righteous and we ask that you direct those working on this problem. We pray that this national day of prayer will be blessed across America as we unite our voices and emphatically declare, let the glory of God fill the earth, not on this day only, but going forward. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Hello, Troy, Marine, and St. Jacob communities. Uh, my name is Andy Adams. I'm the senior pastor at Troy United Methodist Church, and I want to thank you for joining us on this uh, online version of our National Day of Prayer gathering. I, I want to especially thank uh, Pastor Brian Bradshaw of the Pentecostals of Troy Church, uh, just for really spearheading our efforts to uh, reinitiate the prayer breakfast and this National Day of Prayer uh, online time together. Uh, he has, has really been uh, the champion behind this, and so uh, thank you, Brian. Uh, I, I also just want to acknowledge that as communities in the midst of this COVID-19 crisis, that we are all experiencing a wide variety of emotions. Uh, some of you may be grieving. I know in many ways there has been tremendous loss during this time. 
Um, some of you may be angry and frustrated that uh, things are the way they are, and, uh, and yet um, you may be finding there's some silver lining to this, the slower pace of life, uh, time to be at home, to work outside, to spend extra time with family, uh, to, to uh, cook more meals at home. <laughs> Uh, well, whatever it is, uh, we trust that that uh, God is going to make some good come out of this uh, difficult situation. Uh, I know that I've been encouraging our church community uh, with this scripture passage from 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 16. Therefore, we do not lose heart. Though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. Uh, I'm going to share a prayer for our nation. It's, it's not a prayer that I've made uh, for myself. It's a, it's a prayer that has been given to us. And I certainly wanted to uh, share this prayer with you and invite you to make this prayer your own. Uh, the author of this prayer is Kathy Branzell, who's the president of the National Day of Prayer Task Force. So let's join our hearts together in prayer. Lord, we exist to give you glory. We exist because your glory and in your glory as our creator, redeemer, and sustainer. We give you thanks and praise for every breath and moment that you have given us. We repent of our sin for the shameful things we have done against you and for our silence when we did not speak up to proclaim your name, profess your word, or protect and practice your will. We ask your forgiveness. We pray that the knowledge of the glory of the Lord will spread across our nation and the entire earth as we seek your kingdom and your righteousness, as we walk in obedience to you and in humble unity, love one another. Jesus, the Bible says that you are the knowledge of the glory of the Lord, and you have taught us to pray commanded us to love, and commissioned us to share your gospel of grace. Your glory fills our hearts and our families. It overflows into our neighborhoods, our workplaces, campuses, churches, entertainment, and media. We give thanks for our military and ask that your glory would spread to and through them as they preserve freedom around the world. We pray for our government that all of our leaders and laws would be filled with your glory, that they would magnify your holy word and honor your will and your ways. We pray that your grace and glory would spread to bring hope to the hopeless and love where there is hurt and hate. God, use us, we pray, your, your promise that the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, thank you uh, for joining in that prayer for our nation and our community. And I, I would love to uh, introduce Pastor Tim Lewis, the uh, senior pastor at Bethel Church here in Troy, who will be offering our next prayer. Good morning. I'm so glad that you're joining us today as we pray for our nation, as we pray for our community and really as we pray for our world. This is a national day of prayer, and uh, we wanna lift up our country before the Lord. Thank you for praying for me, by the way. Thank you for praying for me when I was uh, sick, and uh, I thank the Lord for the answer to those prayers and for the recovery that's happened in my own life. Today, I was thinking about a scripture verse. Unless the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain who build it. And unless the Lord guards the city, the watchman keeps away in vain. It's vain for you to rise up early, to retire late, to eat bread of painful labors, for he gives to his beloved even in his sleep. Behold, children are a gift of the Lord. The fruit of the womb is a reward. The arrows in the hand of a warrior, so are the children of one's youth. How blessed is the man whose quiver is full of them, they shall not be ashamed when they speak with their enemies in the gate. Amen. In light of that scripture, why don't we pray together for our children, for our schools and teachers and parents. Let's pray. 
Father in heaven, I thank you so much for uh, our school district and Father for our community and our families and our children. Lord, in the midst of this pandemic, we uh, have a heavy burden for those who teach our children, whether in public school or private school or home schools. Father, we, thank, we are thankful for them that invest in the life of our children. I pray for our school principals, our administration, our school board, in hard decisions that they're making every day. And Father, I thank you that they have a care and a burden in their heart to see the very best for our children and our families. Father, today, we pray for our parents. Lord, we're so grateful for the moms and dads and have school-aged children, and for grandparents to help rear and invest in their children. Father, we pray for your blessing on them. Some, many have become teachers in their own home. And Father, the stress of all of that. So Father, we lift them before you. We pray you be near to them, strengthen them, give them patience, give them courage, give them understanding. And Father, I pray that you would use them as they pour their lives into the children. Lord, we pray for our children. Lord, uh, I pray for their comfort. I, many of our children separated from their friends and, and from the school and the regular life routine. And so, Lord, uh, it brings anxiety into them. And they catch it also from us. So, Father, we pray for our children, that you protect them, watch over them, and keep them. Lord, this summer, as we go into the summer, we pray for families as they try to deal with some activities, many of those activities canceled. And so, Father, I pray for families as they spend more time together with their children, the Lord, that you would bless them incredibly. Lord, I ask you to bless your churches as well. A lot of those ministries to children have been suspended. And so, Father, we just pray for your hand of blessing upon our churches and those children's ministries as well. Father, you're so good to us. You never leave us nor forsake us. Father, we come to you today and say, God, we ask for your favor, and your grace, and your blessing on our community, on our teachers, and our children. In Jesus' name, amen. Hello. I'm Father Kevin Lawfrey from St. Jerome in Troy and the St. James Catholic Church in St. Jacob. Uh, this benediction focuses on the city, that is to say, ways in which we organize ourselves uh, into communities. So we think of the city of Troy as well as the other towns in the uh, Triad School District, uh, St. Jacob and Marine. As I thought about the city, I was reminded of a scripture which may not be very often heard. It's from the Song of Songs, and it is associated uh, in our liturgy with uh, Mary Magdalene looking for Jesus. So I think that this uh, will uh, put us in mind of the places where we live and also of the longing that we find in our hearts, the longing for uh, ultimately God and for community as God's people. On my couch at night, I sought him, I love so. I sought him, but did not find him. Let me rise and go round the town, in the streets and in the square. Let me seek him I love so. I sought him, but did not find him. The watchmen who go round the town found me. Have you seen him I love so? 
I had barely passed on from them when I found him I love so. I held him and did not let go till I brought him to my mother's house and to the chamber of her who conceived me. God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, this strange time we live in is a time for us to develop our longing for you and for the good of all your people in the places where we live and in the entire world. Bless us as you change and stretch our hearts. Allow us to develop a deeper longing for every good that you have in mind for your people. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen.